Hi, Jennifer Scrapping Kane here. Welcome back to my channel. This is a layout for Color Rush Studio. I'm using their kit Zesty for the month of June. You can pick it up on their website. I do believe we have more in stock. And I'm showing you the scraps that I have to use along with one photo of my son when he was two months old. So this red paper I thought was going to be my background, but I end up going a different way and creating a mixed media background. But first I'm going to show you the pieces that I plan on using. I plan on getting some of the frazzles and ribbons on here and some of the ephemera pieces using just a little bit of everything. So you can see I have my background paper ready. Um, I am going to triple mat it instead of, or I guess double mat it with the background paper being the third mat. So there is three layers to the background. Um, I did go ahead and gut those because the flower paper, I only have one of that one. So I wanted to make sure I had enough of that one to use again. So here you can see I'm adding on the mixed media paper. And what I did was I stenciled with Distress Oxide in um, two different yellows, uh, like a lemon whatever lemon one is, and then there's another one. Um, the other one is a little bit darker. It comes off almost like an orangey color, but in the end it uh, works perfectly because most of it's covered up um, as usual. I went ahead and splattered with the Distress Oxide also on the background and added a little bit of water. Um, so it does look heavier in some places than in others, but again, it'll be partly covered up. Um, I added washi tape to the back of the layout. That was just to make sure that the layers are uh, basically secure in place. And also it makes it a little bit easier to put it in a page protector. Right now I'm stamping with uh, blue ribbon, I believe is this Distress Oxide. And I'm using one stamp and it's a pretty small one. It's probably about four inches or so. Um, it looks like a stitch and it does have a beginning and an end. So in some of the spots I wiped off uh, the end of it or the beginning of it so that it would look like it was a continuous stitch instead of um, like <laughs> individual stitches all the way around. And so you didn't see those beginning and endings every four inches or so. And I like the way that it turned out. Uh, I could stand, I could actually stitch on the layout, but my sewing machine is actually not set up right now where I could actually sew with it. So instead, I'd rather just use the stamps, and I do that quite often. I actually like the way the stamps look in the end. It looks just like regular stitching, except for, you know, it's a stamp, and a little bit easier to do, if you ask me, because I'm not the best sewer, but... Anyways, I drew a pencil line around the photo because I'm going to come in and add some embellishments, like I said, and I'm going to add uh, the frazzles and ribbons, and I need to place them under the photo um, just so that you don't see where they're attached down at. So I'm using double-sided tape, and I'm going to just fold them in half so they're kind of like a loop. And I'm going to put three of them on the layout. So I did the blue stars, the blue flowers, and then the, right, the red and white stripe. And then uh, that flower piece there is a torn piece of the paper that's in the background. Um, and I'm going to add three of these around the layout. And then one of them will be also in the title place. I did add one of the little ribbons that also come in a pack of four there was like a cherry a lemon and i guess it's a lemon i don't know it might be a pineapple but i went with it because of the color yellow i wanted to add some yellow to the layout so i'm going to actually use the lemons on this layout also i almost used the lemon paper but decided just to use the lemon embellishments and save the lemon paper so i'm gonna add another the frazzles and ribbons up at the top 
So I, again, I have the stars, the stripes, and the blue flowers, and then a torn piece of paper. And in the close-ups, see if you can notice where I actually changed uh, a couple of these pieces around. The lemons, I'm going to move to the top of the layout, and the torn piece of paper will stay up there also. And then uh, I believe I moved one other thing in the close-ups, but... Um, it just looked better to me after I turned the camera off and I was looking at it. I decided to change it. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't turn the camera back on, so I don't show that on screen. But that's all I did was um, I was just able to pull it back up and move it. And there was no reason, really, just that it looked better to me. Um, Right now, I'm just kind of placing things, making sure that's where I want it to be. I'm going to get started on the bottom cluster, which is, again, going to be another piece of the torn flower paper. And then the lemon uh, bucket, it was the lemons were in like a metal bucket, and I tucked that behind the truck. I cut the flowers that were on the uh, flatbed part of the truck. I cut those off, and then I added the lemons and you can still kind of see the flowers, so to kind of take your eye away from that, I'm going to put tangled thread there. And that thread is actually from the frazzles and ribbons. Um, when you take them off of the like packaging that they're on, sometimes there's loose strings hanging off of them. So I took those loose strings and I'm going to add them underneath the title, So Sweet. I am adding play foam on a few of the pieces, not a lot. I think on the stars, the little piece at the top that says, you are my sunshine. And then, so sweet is already a puffy piece, so I didn't add play foam to the truck. I just attached the truck down um, over the ribbons. And then I'm going to add this torn piece here and the uh, the strings, and then the So Sweet title. And then I'm going to add the star, and I believe that's going to be it. I'm going to have a few close-ups. I did add a couple of hearts. Um, the red checkered heart I'm going to add to the left side, and then I add a little ladybug up at the top right there. Um, and I believe that's it. I wanted to put the red puffy heart on the layout, but in the end, I ended up not using it. Uh, it was just a little too big for where I wanted to add it. So I will save it and add it on to probably my next layout. I'm going to try to use the puffy hearts. I think they're really cute. Um, and I think that's it. I'm going to add the bigger star right here, put a little bit of play foam on it, and then I will add it on. And now I think I'm done. So hopefully I will have a layout for you on Sunday. I will definitely have an unboxing for Miss Kate's design team um, as I have been asked to guest design again. And it's with her new kit for June uh, summer vacation. So I'm kind of excited to show that one. It's a really cute summer vacation kit. And I will have that up tomorrow. But this one here is for Color Rush Studios. And again, you can use my code Jennifer10 and save 10%. And I will see you guys in the next video.